Hey guys, hi and uh, welcome to another AWS uh, Lambda tutorial series. Uh, in this video, I want to talk about how basically we can actually use Selenium on an AWS Lambda function. Uh, yes, it's possible. Um, with uh, uh, So what we could do is basically what we are about to learn in this video. We create a layers of a Chrome, uh, of a Selenium, right? A Chrome, a Chrome uh, with a Chrome driver, right? We create a deployment package, and once that deployment package is done, we could use that in the AWS Lambda. So we could use Selenium on AWS Lambda. The uh, possibilities are just endless with what all things you could do. You know, web scraping, uh, uh, you uh, automated test system. If you can fire up a Lambda, it's gonna go on the website. You know, do the deep test, and if you work. The test was passed, you can publish to an SNS and much more. Let me show you the gist of the idea, how to get started, how to you know uh, get the deployment package and how to use uh, Selenium on a Lambda function using Python. So let's get started with the video. All right, so I'm here on my Mac OS because um, this script only works on Linux, so I couldn't run this on Windows. So yeah, so let me tell you what the script does. So this script right here is gonna create a deployment package that we can upload on AWS Lambda as a layers. And then we could use uh, Selenium on our um, AWS uh, Lambda functions, right? So I have this script, right? So first of all, uh, you know, assuming that you have Docker installed, I my Docker daemon is already running, okay? So uh, I'm here on my um, uh, current working directory. Now I need to run this, right? Before running this, we need to, um, you know, give permission to this uh, shell script. So now, if you, if you see, uh, we did that. Now, all I have to do is just say Chrome um, uh, run the shell script. So what it does is basically it's gonna. Uh, so if we if we scroll up, so first of all, for our runtime, is it's, it's only meant for a Python 3.7. So it's gonna install the Selenium uh, binary and the Selenium uh, Linux uh, packages. Once it does, basically, it would try to, you know, create a, it would try to, you know, create the particular, uh, uh, would install a particular version that's supported with that, for example, 2.4.3. And then once it does all of that, it's, it's basically going to create a zip pack, a zip package, which we could uh, deploy it on a Lambda function. So I guess uh, the script is still running. I, 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 so almost there. So let's see. Clear LS. So now, when um, I, if you see, I have a, a I have these function called Chrome underscore headless dot zip. So I need to deploy this on an AWS Lambda. So in the next step, I'm going to show you how you could use uh, to you know do any sort of scraping or any any sort of unit testing that you want to build or any pipeline. So we have the deployment package. So let's see in the next step now. Okay. Uh, so. Since we have that deployment package, let's try to run that uh, Selenium on uh, AWS Lambda. So I'm gonna say the name of the function. Uh, okay, call Selenium test. Okay, and over here we would select the version to be 3.7 because that's what the deployment package says. Uh, so we say create function. So let's wait for that. And then we need to upload the layers um, here. So hopefully it might take a couple of seconds, but uh, should be done. Okay, so that's good. Okay, that's the name of the function. Uh, let's head over to the layers. Uh, I already have a couple of layers, but uh, don't worry about that. Create layers. So let's get Selenium Python version 3.7 because it's for, for 3.7 Python. Uh, upload uh, would uh, now select that deployment package was which was on my uh, desktop so select that runtime uh, 3.7 is the suitable runtime so let's click on the create button so with this at least i would have my um, uh, selenium uh, chrome uh, you know package that i could uh, upload now since it's on the layers i could just use that on my lambda like in the say from selenium import web driver like a headless chrome right so um, yeah, let's give it a couple of minutes and then I'll uh, head over to the Lambda and link this layers to that. It's taking a while. Yeah, but the maximum size is about 50 MB. If your deployment uh, exceeds more than 50, upload it on S3 and, uh, you know, that way still you could use that. So just so you know. Uh, let me, okay, so it did, it, did the, it, it did work. So now let's go to the function. Uh, I think it was... 
selenium test right so let's click here and um, now what i'm i'll do is basically we need to add that layers right so now under here layers click on this button custom options uh this one right here the version s1 click on the add button right there so we have that um, selenium package or layers is now linked with that so now let's try to test it out okay i have this basic function which would print uh, the source code from uh, github right so basically uh, the idea is it's going to go to the github um, you know uh, this job is to you know print uh, the uh, what do you call that the, let me make sure the name is fine yeah basically print the html content okay so run the one okay so i have the scaffold again i'm gonna put the scaffold also in the description so don't worry about that so let's click the test button right here name this event click on create so now the event is created now we can test it out and i should see the html content of the page that's uh, the goal okay and uh, let's see error message this oh i know with this error um we need to do a couple of more things we need to increase the memory and um, the maximum put it as a thousand and put this as a five minutes um yeah because i forgot to do the settings so click on the save button and now this should fire up your selenium as charm on a lambda so now let's test it again and this time hopefully i know it's gonna work and there you go, you have all the HTML uh, using Selenium on AWS Lambda. Hope you did enjoy this tutorial. And if you did enjoy uh, this tutorial, do give me a like on this video. I would also do one thing for people who do not have a Mac, you can still use the Selenium. Uh, I would leave the deployment zip on the description section below. So you can you know, download that as well. So yeah, works with only Python 3.7 uh, with this. I have tested with 3.7, it works fine. So yeah, if you have any more questions or concerns, let me know by doing that in the comment section below and I would be very happy to assist you. Keep smiling, keep coding, and I would see you guys in the next